Hello guys and welcome back to Persona 3 Reload. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we finally decided who we were going to romance, although we haven't gotten to uh, actually talk to them yet and actually officially start dating. But we made the decision and I'm going to stick with it. In today's episode, we're actually going to get to go and do the full moon operation, so let's get to that. It's almost the full moon. Anyways, just leave everything to me. I'll take I'll take out the enemy in the blink of an eye. Oh man, I'm so pumped. I sure hope I could get some sleep tonight. I almost forgot. Just want to go to the rooftop real quick and grab the uh, great vegetables over here. That's a reference to Persona 4. I don't know why, but uh, you can also plant vegetables in Persona 4 and, and a character, when you um, actually harvest the vegetables, they say, Great vegetables. And for some reason that became just a huge meme in the fandom. I don't know why. It wasn't that funny of a line. Oh yeah. Uh didn't mean to talk to you, Junpei. By the way. So the full moon's nearly here. <laughs> Things are about to get exciting. I can't wait to see what we're taking on. Hello. Tomorrow my hypothesis will be put to the test. A shadow will appear during the full moon. This is all quite exciting for a researcher such as myself. Hmm, I'm not picking up an, any signs of a shadow related to, to tomorrow's full moon. Looks like we're just going to have to wait until it appears tomorrow. And finally, we get to do Mitsuru's final uh, tea hangout over here. Of course, she still has two more book hangouts, but this is her final tea-based one. Something I want to do, would you like to join me? Sure, I'd love some tea. Thank you. Wonderful. I'll start the preparation. Today, I'd like to make a snack food that would pair well with tea. That said, I'm not terribly well-versed in the art of cuisine. So I'm hoping to make some simple karumeyaki. Did your teachers ever show you how to make it? Bottom answer is kind of funny, but I'll just say I think so. Excellent. Then I don't need to explain. Alright, let's get started. Temperature control is key. We want to turn off the heat right before it hits 130 degrees Celsius. Oh, we should keep things moving. Let's put the sugar in the ladle first. A cooked karameyaki with Mitsuru. What a nostalgic flavor. It may not require hours in the kitchen, and the taste isn't particularly complex, but I'm quite fond of these. And more than anything, it's nice that we can make it ourselves. You know, when I saw this for the first time, I thought it was like magic. I've tried making it myself a number of times, but I ended up burning it on every attempt. I guess you could call it a bittersweet memory. But I didn't give up. I continued practicing. And that's finally led to our success today. What do you think? That's so inspiring. Hearing you say that makes me glad to have shared it. Back home, there were plenty of opportunities to host formal dinners and tea parties, but I never considered it particularly admirable to have someone else prepare the extravagant dishes. Doing the cooking myself also allows me to talk with you like this. And isn't that sort of familiarity the key to understanding each other better? I think this might have been what I was missing. Instead of complaining about being difficult to approach, I needed to create an opportunity for change. By cooking this nostalgic dish, Mitsuru seems to have learned something new about herself. She got... Ailment Burst. Raises critical rate on foes with ailments with Mitsuru in battle. Very nice. <laughs> it's fascinating the kind of things you learn by simply inviting someone over for tea. Thank you. I hope we can talk again like this sometime. Oh, right, I had a favor to ask. There's still some sugar and baking soda left. Do you think you could help me make another batch? Karameyaki keeps for a long time. This could be a good chance to make some for the others. After making Karameyaki with Mitsuru, I went back to my room. I also just realized that on July 4th, I said I was going to celebrate a birthday, but I completely forgot. July 4th is the birthday of Maya Amino from Persona 2. She, of course, is the uh, origin of Maya from Persona 3's name. She named herself after the character from Persona 2. 
Uh, in 2009, Maya would be 33, which is crazy. It's very funny because on July 3rd, we had Ryuji's birthday from Persona 5, and he would be 10 years old in 2009. And now we have a Persona 2 character with Maya, and she'd be 33 in 2009. Just shows how much time really has kind of passed. Good morning, Yuki-kun. How are you feeling today? Uh, perfect. <laughs> that's really reassuring. I guess that's why you're the leader. By the way, we're going to have a quick meeting about the operation tonight, so please return to the dorm immediately after school. As always, we can't do anything after school when we're getting ready for a full moon operation, so time for plot to progress. Fuka? Just a moment. I found it. I'm picking up a large shadow in the city. Hey, you were right. Yes, it seems like our full moon hypothesis was correct. It's located in Iwatodai, inside a building on Shirakawa Boulevard. Hmm, Shirakawa Boulevard. They've been finding the lost in pairs lately. Now I understand why. In pairs? Oh, now I understand. What's on Shirakawa Boulevard? I'm not familiar with that area. I've heard about it, but... Oh, that's where all those hotels are. That explains a lot. You've heard about him, right, Fuka? Where people go to, you know. What? What is wrong with you? Come now, don't let your imaginations get carried away. They're no different from any other hotel. The rooms are just a bit more exotic, that's all. Oh, really? I don't know about this. Maybe I shouldn't go. Ah, look at you, Yukatan. You're such a child sometimes. <laughs> what? Who are you calling a child? All right, fine. Let's go. I'm reserving a spot in the lineup for today's operation. No objections. What, you, you could just do that? So, who's gonna take the lead? I don't see any reason to change leaders now. It's very awkward how, for some reason, only with Mitsuru's lines, she doesn't say anything when it's just the name of the protagonist in the text box. Because with everyone else, they say leader. But for some reason, with uh, Mitsuru, she just stays silent. Alright. Yamagishi, I want you to handle support during the operation. I'll do my best. Alright. Go ahead and decide on the rest of the team. Let's do this. No reason to change up who who we're going with. Uh, we're of course going with Yukari because she's forcing herself. Um, Akihiko, right. you look really cool. Uh, Junpei, why aren't you in your cool outfit? Well, I guess you have the new outfit on. Hold on. Let me... We're never going to actually see you in combat again, but just because I think it looks funny. There you go. Do not get distracted. Do not get distracted by your surroundings. Let's go together. All right, we've got our full team here. We're not very high up with our theurgies, but that's okay. We're gonna be there in there for a long time since you know, in Persona games, bosses usually take a while to defeat. Yes. Are you ready? Commence operation. I'll get ready to provide support so you can head on over. Whoa! Looks just like I imagined. Champs... de... fleurs? How do you say that? It's champ de fleurs. It means field of flowers. This is the place. I can sense the presence inside. Then come on, leader. Let's get this over with. I'm detecting a major presence upstairs. It has to be our target. 
It's hiding in a larger room on the third floor. Head that way and track it down. Alright, third full moon operation. Our first one was on the tracks of a train and, you know, inside a train that's speeding down the tracks and about to crash. Uh, the second one was inside of Tartarus while we're trying to find a missing person. And the third one is a love hotel. Bit of a downgrade, but, you know, this place is still pretty cool. Oh. Hey, I saw a big door back there. Maybe we should check it out. Um. I sense a large presence behind that door. Are you ready? I'm ready, Freddy. This thing's the boss? <laughs> it's more normal looking than I expected. Get ready, everyone! Here it comes! This large shadow is of the Hierophant Arcana! Alrighty, Hierophant. Be ready for anything. Not exactly the... Uh, Arcana you'd expect in a love hotel, but I don't know. Let's not think about it too much. Uh, do we have any... Alright. Actually, let's stick with Jack-O-Lantern. So, because we have Ice Coverage for Mitsuru, uh, Electric with Akihiko, and Wind for Yukari. Yeah. As you can see with her moveset, Yukari is going to be our leader this time around. Also, we're doing a ton of damage, which is quite strange. This will do the trick. And just a Makoga. Oh, that's... oof. It's pretty bad. Not the worst. Still not particularly good. Well, since you're using light, let me see if I can use dark. Nope, that's blocked. Let's do... Media. It's not so bad that we need to use Diorama yet. Oh, yeah, go ahead and scan. What are you weak to? Nothing, just don't use light and dark. Okay. I guess that makes sense. Let's lower your attack. I mean, it's not the worst, but it'd still be cool to, I don't know, have something happen. I don't think lowering stats counts as a status ailment, so I'm not gonna get crits there. Holy crap! Okay, let's see. This fear. Okay. Do we have anything that lets us get rid of status ailments on everyone? No, I'm gonna switch to Mokoi, All right. and then I'm going to just use a Disphere. Then Yukari, can you? Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Sonata is next. Yes, and then he can... I don't think he has any moves here that could help out, so... Better use this. There you go, Mitsuru. What's the plan here? And then What's you can Bufala, Bufala again. Salt die. Oof! That's... Okay, thank you, Yuki, for dodging that. I'm gonna try to poison. Oh wait, this probably... Yeah, what am I thinking? Bosses block status ailments. My apologies. I could probably just use Dia here, so I don't waste SP since Mitsuru didn't lose that much HP. Yukari's up with her Theurgy. Akihiko just 
do what you normally do. Now you've done it. Oh, Mitsuru also has her theurgy. Very nice. Probably have Makoto heal everyone here and then have Yukari use her theurgy. Oh, and Fuka also has her theurgy, so we can. That raises attack, right? Yeah. So that'll also help with helping Yukari do more damage here. It's only been a couple minutes and we're already around halfway through this boss fight. Which may seem strange to some of you. Doomsday Dock Trick. Now I'm scared. I'll Okay, it's just fear again. I forgot what that did. Doing what we did before. Although, hopefully it doesn't do this too much afterwards because... We are getting kinda low on... Uh, stuff that heals fear. What's the plan here? Freeze, maybe? Although, again, status ailments don't work, so I don't know why I'd, I'd expect that. That didn't do anything, practically, so... Let's... Let's see if Yukari can get a crit. I'd actually be very interested to see that. And she did not. I don't think this will end off the fight, but it'll get us pretty dang close. I'll just give everyone a high critical rate. Because I think it'd be funny. Yes! And we can all out attack. Probably won't do too much damage at the moment. It certainly helps, actually. It'd be really funny if we got two in a row. Actually, that just ended off the fight. Twelve thousand EXP. Everyone jumped up a few levels here. Yukari got Garula, which is a better version of Garu. Uh -huh, new skill, huh? Sonata got Diorama, which is a better version of Dia. And no one else got any new moves. We did it! The enemy's been defeated! Great work, everyone! I'll be waiting outside for you. The door won't budge. A strong force seems to be holding it shut. Um... No way! Why? I still sense a shadow in that room. Huh? But we just... It's not the same one from before. But where is it hiding? The shadow should be in this room, right? We have to find it. So, you could try looking in a few different places. None of them are really inter interactable, except for the bathroom. Uh, one thing that you'll notice is uh, if we look in the mirror right here, uh, we don't see our reflection. Huh? 
Hmm? Hey, is it just me or is there something weird about this mirror? Why was there just a random fan service scene out of nowhere? My head feels foggy. I can't remember why I'm here. What was I doing? I feel like I'm forgetting something important. I can hear the shower running in the bathroom. Embrace your desire. There's a strange voice ringing inside my head. I am the voice of your inner self. Revel in the moment. That which cannot be felt is merely a dream. The present is all we have. That's not true. The future is but a fantasy. Memory a fabrication. Let your desire free you from your shackles. Such is your wish. I can't give in. Pleasure is what you truly seek. You stand before the doorway to bliss. You cannot deny your instincts. Embrace your desire. I'll pass. My mind is getting clearer. Seems like something was trying to manipulate my thoughts. Someone turned off the shower in the bathroom. <sighs> what was I... Huh? <laughs> Seems like Yukari's thoughts were being manipulated as well. I can finally reach you! Can you two hear me? I hear you. I'm sorry I couldn't contact you sooner. The shadow was interfering with your thoughts, so I couldn't reach you. Looks like you two got teleported away as well. The group's all been separated. The enemy is still in the same room. Let's regroup and then head back there. Did you hear that, Yukari-chan? Yeah, I heard you. Um... Did something happen? It's fine. Come on, let's go. And how about we don't mention this to anyone? Got it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I only sensed the one shadow, and I hate to bear more bad news on top of this, but a barrier has gone up within the building. You won't be able to reach it this way. <sighs> So we... So we can blame that shadow for getting us trapped down here. I'll try to find... I'm going to try and find a way to break this barrier. In the meantime, please reconvene on the second floor. Yeah, one thing about the Persona games is sometimes they have just fan service out of nowhere. And it kind of sucks. Hey. It, the weird thing is, there wasn't even really a decent transition into the fan service. It was just like, huh, this mirror is looking kind of weird. Boom, now we're in the shower. So, you guys were one floor, floor below, huh? Hmm. Didn't expect another one to be there. Anyway, you two come out of it alright? Anything happened to you? Oh. N nothing odd. Nothing at all. Um. Oh, could it be? I get it, it's the mirrors. The readings from the mirrors in the guest room seem to be resonating with the main shadow. If we can destroy those mirrors, then maybe we'll be able to break the barrier. Alright. Alright, so what rooms are these mirrors in? Yes. I sent something from rooms 204 and 205. Try heading into those two rooms first. So it's implied that Sonata and Mitsuru went through pretty much the same thing that we did. Um. So now I'm curious, what happens if you bring Sonata and Junpei along? Because Yukari is required because of course they have to do the fan service scene. Um. Oh, hey, something here. Soul Refresh. Nice. Uh, but I do wonder 
how the scene differs if you bring uh, Yukari, Sonata, and Junpei instead of bringing Mitsuru. Anyways, we went into this room where the reading was, but we can see a reflection in the mirror. It seems fine. So let's head to that other room and check out how that mirror is doing. Lo and behold, no reflection. Um... Well, there's the mirror, so we just break it, right? Alright then, time to end this hoax. Wait, hold on! The signal's close, but I'm not entirely certain that this is the right mirror. Could you check the other room too, just in case? That's a good point. Sorry, it's better to be safe than to be sorry, so let's cover all our bases first. Okay. Oh, I have to actually click on it? I have observational skills game, I can see that there's reflections in one and not reflections in the other. Okay, there's the mirror. Oh wait, there's something different about this one compared to the, to the other one. You sure? It looks the same to me. You notice anything, Yuki? Our reflections. Right. Oh, you're right. Now that I think about it, the mirror in the other room didn't show our reflections. Oh, good, you noticed it too, so I'm not just going crazy. Yeah, the other mirror. There's definitely something up with the mirror that reflects everything except people. The mirror in this room is probably just a normal mirror. So why don't we check room 205 again? Sure thing, Yukari. Let's break it. I knew it! Now we should be able to get to the shadow, right? Um, huh? Actually, the seal's still intact, but that should've... Don't panic. C can you pick up any similar signals? <gasps> Let me see. Got it, I'm getting a signal from a mirror on the third floor. Then we just have to break that one too, right? Fuka, can you tell us which room it's in? Sorry, I can't pinpoint the exact location. There's too much interference from the main signal. I guess we'll just have to go to find another mirror that doesn't show a reflection. It should be inside one of the rooms on the third floor. Good luck! Okay, leader, you decide which mirrors we should break. Alrighty, it'll take a little while, but it should be fine. Just completely ignore the coffins. Sometimes it's hard to it's hard for me to notice when there are reflections, so I'm like, oh, this must not have reflections. And then I see our teammates running by, so that mirror is completely fine. We have reflections here too. We're good here too, so three of the rooms we've checked are completely fine. That should mean that this should have our weird little, um, our weird mirror. Yep, indeed, there's nothing over here. Amazing. Main signal is completely gone now, the seal okay. should be broken. Excellent, then the target's room should be accessible now. Still, we're behind schedule, let's move. Right, because we do only have one hour, I kind of forget that with the full moon operations. But, just like the dark hour, we do- the characters do kind of have a time limit here. I wonder what would happen if they were in the middle of a boss fight and then it went back to the... to normal, everyday life. Would they not be able to defeat the shadow then? Anyways, enough pondering, on to the boss fight. So it was you! I'll teach you not to mess with a girl's heart! We'll get it this time. I believe in you, team! All right, true boss fight time. The lovers arcana. Unforgivable. I'll never forgive you for that. This one's from the lovers arcana. It's the source of the mind manipulation. I'm ready anytime. Interesting thing there. Since you you Kari got mad there, I guess the theurgy gauge got completely filled up. So cyclone arrow. Yeah, that's not doing as much damage as we were at the previous boss fight, so now you see why. That was sort of just a mini boss fight to prepare us. Oh, our order is completely off this time. Let me actually... Hmm. Okay, so yeah. Akihiko is next, so we're fine there. I guess we just keep attacking like normal. Not doing, doing too bad with SP. And we do have a few SP items, so... Ah, oh, come on, Sonata! Oh, and he's been inflicted with charm.
Oh, and he's just straight up dead. I see. Okay. Give him a bomb of life. Time to redeem myself. Huh? Hell yeah. I forgot we had Jack Brothers. Let's go ahead and use that. Amazing. Here we go. Nice, we also got the all-out attack for that. So again, we're chipping away at this very slowly. I know this has already been kind of a long episode, but we're actually finally getting to the meat here. We're so close to a crit. What's this weird feeling? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> 69, nice. I'll go with. Very fitting for the Lover's Arcana and being in the Love Hotel. You want that? Anyways, enough juvenile humor. Let's actually get Yukari. Let's actually get Yukari's mind out of the gutter. I'm ready. Um. We should just be able to attack from here on out. Oh, come on, Mitsuru. Oh, come on. I think we just have to kind of drain it of all of its SP, so... Having some health problems, so let's use Media. That helps. Appreciate it. And then... Yasuru's next, so... You can have the critical rate up. And that did nothing, okay. Resist! I should probably go ahead and have Fuka analyze. Yes, you should. Okay, no fire, no electricity, no pierce. Got it. Have to do this. Let's lower your accuracy and evasion because we've been missing you this entire time. I'll go with. What's our most powerful persona? Mitra? This one. I've already scanned this to one. Do. Come. Thank you, Fuka. I think I can use it now. For some reason, Fuka always comes in just as someone else is about to use their theurgy. It's very helpful. That's a nice amount of damage. Not in the internet humor way, but I'm actually glad that we got that. God, okay. Is there anything you can do? What next? Let's see. Okay, who's the next one in line? That's Yuki. This should help. Okay, we're doing this whole thing again where we're just kind of going down the chain of people Here we go. and everyone's fixing each other's status ailments. Mitsuru was next, right? Right, okay. This should work. 
We're kind of out of stuff there, so hopefully nothing bad. So hopefully it doesn't really try that again. Let's go! I forgot, shouldn't use electricity. My bad. You think you can hit me? I have to do this. Some fun! Persona! Uh, Mitra! I'll hit them where it hurts. Go for it! I'm the layer! I was almost about to use another electric attack. I don't know why. Nope. Okay, miss. Is Makoto's current persona weak to that? I'm not sure. I'll have to check. What to do? Is Mitra No, not weak to fire. So we could just keep going. Everyone's getting real close to using their theurgies. Barely on the edge there. Shall I move to strike? I'll show you. Kinda hard to commentate on stuff here because we're just falling to the same strategies before. Oh god, that sucks. Please don't. Please don't do anything bad. Okay, I don't think that'll heal him up too much. Next is Mitsuru. Yukari chose this will do the trick. Can you snap her out of it? I'm actually gonna have we came prepared. Mitsuru cure Yukari here and have Sonata just do whatever. Tsukukaja. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that also sucks. Don't do that again. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna have Yukari fix Mitsuru's charm, and then I'm gonna have Makoto heal her up. Ah, oh, but that's weak to fire. No, instead of using... An, an actual thing, I'll go ahead and give her a big healthy tomato. Maybe. Yeah. Not gonna help too much. Actually, that it that did help a lot. Never mind. I'll hit them where it hurts. We don't have any more charm fixing stuff, so. Maybe just attack and hope for a crit? No, quit doing that. Heartbreaker. Oh, is this gonna kill Sonata? No, but it got pretty dang close. But hey, now he's not charmed anymore, so we could just use Media and get. and pretty much have everyone up to speed. I'll go with. All right, so next time we go to Makoto's turn, he'll be good. And I think that's going to be the same for Yukari and Mitsuru as well. Ah, Mitsuru's still at the very edge there. No crit. Oh no! Please stop. <laughs> it's very bad. Uh anything you can do? Uh 
Okay. So, do I heal everyone up here? Healing everyone up would be the safer play. So I'll do that. I don't feel like the Theurgy is going to... Well, I don't feel like Jack Brothers are going to do too much more damage. Like, not enough to completely risk our entire thing. And by our entire thing, I mean, like, risking our lives. I have to heal Charm here, but next time around, Yukari will use her Theurgy. Can Mitsuru? Nope. Mits you want that? I'll go with. You want that? Here we go. I use some water here. Pretty much everyone is back to full health. And then Mitsuru should finally have her Theurgy. Oh, come on! Oof. Okay, next time we'll... I keep wanting to have Yukari use her Theurgy. But people keep getting charmed, and I don't have any items. I'll be sure to stock up on some next time. I'll go with. So oh, sorry, Yukari. Stop healing it. I can read you like a book. Okay, finally someone can use their theurgy. Mitsuru has been, like, just about to use her Theurgy for the past, like, six turns. Okay, we're gonna have Yukari use healing stuff one last time, and then next time around we'll finally have her use her Theurgy. I think I can use it now. We're getting pretty close because once you see the enemy start to like hunch over like the enemy is doing right here, that's how you know you're getting very close to the end of the boss fight. Oh, come on! I feel like Yukari's just never going to get to use her Theurgy at this point. This is bad. I don't- I don't think I have Pacha on any of my... Any of my... Personas. Oh no, we do. Okay. This is going to put Makoto's life in danger for just a second. But it's for a good cause. Probably should have gone for- You know, never mind. I was just about to say probably should have gone for Mitsuru. But no, Yukari has... Uh, her healing stuff. I didn't notice that Sonata got scared there. Just attack, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna have Yukari use her Theurgy, and then I'm gonna have Makoto use Patra. We 
are so close to the end of this boss fight. I don't think Mitsuru is going to get the final blow here. Maybe Sonata will. No, that was the final hit. Sweet! That is the third boss fight, or third full moon operation, rather, down. 13,000 experience points. So all of my fears about being underleveled previously have now completely gone away. Ooh, Fuka has a new ability. What is it? Raises party's defense and accuracy evasion in the next battle. Cool. Don't know how often I'll use it, but it's cool to have. I'm glad you're all safe. Excellent work. The enemy was clever, but you came out on top. Thank you. You did good too, Takeba. It's no wonder you volunteered. Uh, yeah, <laughs> right. And you as well. You were able to remain calm during the enemy's mental assault. Maybe you're finally starting to recognize yourself as a leader. Keep up the good work. Our team survived another dangerous fight. Feels like the level of trust between us has grown. Rank 4. That's how you know we're still pretty early in the game because we haven't even gotten halfway through some of our uh, story-based uh, social links yet. Alright, let's call it a night. Oh, Yukari-chan, um, about that thing you mentioned the other day. You found something? I yes. Okay, tell me about it later. Alright, we should head back too. Hey, come on, Junpei, let's go! Fuka played a big role in this one again. Seems like the second years are really putting in the work. Looks like you're really shining out there, dude. We all did our part. Really now. Well, whatever, I guess. Don't tell me you're jealous someone else is getting all the attention. Shut up! What's his problem? We successfully defeated the Shadows this month, too. There should be fewer victims for a while. But I'm too exhausted to think about all that right now. I should hurry back to the dorm and get some rest. That was faster than I expected. Mm. Quite a show, I must admit. They've been rather busy these last few months, haven't they? And it seems they've gained new recruits, too. Their fighting style is most fascinating. Not to mention they've made several forays into the tower. Well, Jin, are they our enemy? How about we go ask our buddy? Gonna be seeing him real soon. Ah, yes. An excellent idea. Considering that he shares our fate, it would be prudent to seek his opinion. After all, we don't have much time left. Hey there! It's almost summer break, let's go somewhere for vacation. Oh, totally! Yeah, I want us to go see... I want to go to the sea, the mountains, everywhere and anywhere. But first, we got finals starting on Tuesday. What? Uh, I'd forgotten about that. At least we have a break after the exams this time, and summer vacation is just around the corner. We have finals starting next week. Let's see here, finals start next Tuesday. Jeez, we just had an exam, what a pain. Well, maybe pain isn't the right word. Some phrases can be pretty tricky. Now, let's try- let, now let's talk about comma splices. I'm sure you've all heard of them before, but just to be clear, a comma splice is when two independent clauses are incorrectly joined by a comma instead of a conjunction. Hey, what's up? Here's a question for you all. Dun-dun-dun-dun! Yuki-kun! 
Where is the comma splice found in the following sentence? Because it is 10.30 right now, we will not reach the theater in time. It's already started, to, to my dismay. That would be between time and its. Bingo. Ah, correct. The middle one is the inaccurately used comma. Regardless of how logical the sentence flow may appear, a comma cannot be used to link two independent clauses. That's a comma splice. Got it? Well, if no one has any questions, let's move on. Oh god, a lot happened today. Uh, we got to go to the Love Hotel, got some fan service, and we got to defeat two whole bosses! Two shadows down, meaning we should only have six left. So if we inter so if we encounter one every month from now on, we should be done by January. And that's if we only encounter one, so we could be done even earlier. Um, unfortunately, Junpei is now mad at us for whatever reason. Seems like he's kind of jealous that... You know, other people are stepping up to be the heroes. Maybe I should have put him on my team, but I don't know, I haven't been training him up all that much. We also... Where is it? Or... Oh, no! I was just about to say, we're gonna get a girlfriend in the next episode. But no, because we, um... Because exams are coming up, Yuko isn't available. So I guess instead... We're going to be interacting with Chubby Student in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys stick around for the next episode. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.